Welcome back to the channel, Game On, where we just keep on gaming on. I'm Lucky, and this is our third live stream, and our, oh, I don't know, eighth or ninth Let's Play episode here. We're putting the, left, putting the live streams in the Let's Play episodes. Anyways, quick recap, because I had the volume off right there on the mic. Um, <clears throat> so, we left off last episode venturing south and ended up running into the ox cart, which is an original quest from Dragon's Dogma. And after that original quest and the original Dragon's Dogma, it kind of opened up the rest of the game. And this is the same way, you're meeting in the ox cart and you're taking it to the capital, so I'm hoping that it opens up the rest of the game as far as more places to go, more abilities, and more weapons. <clears throat> and maybe a fast travel ability like it was in the original. There wasn't like full on fast travel, but you had port crystals, so you could like travel around. So, as far as equipment goes, remember how we couldn't find our adventurer's boon pack guys that we paid a little bit extra money for um, with the pre-order? So, I figured out what was up with that. I had to go into my PlayStation 5 account, go to the game, and I'll make a short about this so you guys know how to do it too. And I had to actually download that after I had purchased it. For some reason, it didn't download initially. Um, and so now we have it, and so we'll load our last save, we'll go through the ox cart quest, and then when we stop at the first inn, we should have all those items. So, let's check it out. Mmm, so excited, guys. <clears throat> Accompany Gregor to the capital. Travel to the capital to affirm your identity. And that's right, there's a false arisen, too. One of us is a false one. Because there can be only one, apparently. One or more add-ons not yet acquired to access them simply rests at the end. Items will be sent to item storage. Rift crystals will be added directly to your held total. Oh yeah, we got 1,500 rift crystals with that bonus DLC. So, and we'll go over all the items. Give me the eye. Oh, I don't get any more eye. That's cool how you can walk on them like this. You couldn't really do that in the original one. You could jump on them, but it wasn't this interactive. Like, yeah. And there is a little bit of jank. There's a couple things I really don't like, like that cooking scene with the campfire. I mean, that really, for some reason, bothered me, where it showed, like, a real-life steak being cooked on a grill. Like, that really ruined a lot of the immersion for me right there. I wouldn't uh, probably cook again in this game because of that. Now, having a great time. So far, the game still gets an A from me. Ah, here's the cart now. Look at this. This damn quest. Yeah. Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. So this time we gotta ride it. We can't just like run around next to it. And in the original Dragon's Dogma, there was kind of like a speed run hack where you can go up and just whack the ox over and over and he'll kind of like sprint a little bit. Modest camping kit. Well, we're very heavy. We have to give some stuff to our guys here. But you would do that and the ox would kind of sprint. Make it go a little bit faster. Well, let's give it to... Man, our guys can't hold hardly any weight. Like, we're maxed out at 26 pounds. That doesn't seem like hardly anything. Okay. We must be going down. Yeah, we're gonna take the path on the right. Oh, that's better. Take the long way around. My spine might crumple from the weight. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. Cirrus. Now, it's interesting how pawns come up to you and initiate the conversation in this game. I kind of like that. His name is Capcom. Level 1. Kind-hearted, Shurgan. Pawn quest not set, reward, rating. I mean, level 9 archer. That's cool and stuff, but we have our setup. I like our guys right now. The sight of yon ox cart has brought all my I mean, that's an ox. Holy hell. Shall we climb aboard? Look at his face. Man. Okay. Let's, Let's get on this thing and see what's going on. Proceed. I mean, we want to sit near the back, guys. We want to sit in the front. I guess we're going to sit in one of these seats. They're the only available ones. Well, what about Kane and those guys outside? I've just had a thought. They get to walk. Curious thing. One of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't 
wait to find out what's inside. <laughs> How's the stream, guys? Is the volume okay? I turned the game volume up, but I don't know if it's high enough. Can't really even look around. Huh, I can get up. Oh, we can walk around. So it said doze off too, so we can take like a nap, I guess. What's back here? I'll harvest what I can, should it please you? Well, we won't do that. We gotta stay next to the cart. Start screwing around here. So you can either ride on the cart and doze off, I guess, and fast travel through this, but we're gonna do this the original way the quest was in Dragon's Dogma, and we'll just walk next to it and fight off whatever comes along and dun dun and dun. Dun, 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 dun. My buddy's trying to invite me to a party, but I gotta finish doing this first here. Music is quiet. We lost the cart. <laughs> the hell? Where'd they go? Am I just that far ahead? Yeah. There's goblins up there too, you see them? They're gonna jump down on us here in a sec. Hold on, let me text my buddy something while this ox cart's moving. Oh, look at that, I can get the ox cart to push me while I type this. Dum, dun, 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 dun. What's up, Oxy? Look, Master, a treasure chest. Where? We shall have to find a way to reach it. <clears throat> and you know, it's interesting because all like the leaves and everything, all the herbs that we're finding. It all looks really good. And then there's a couple of things, like then the way that water came out from the dam, to me that was a little bit jank too. Like it was cool how it washed stuff away, but it was not like nearly as cool as I thought it was gonna be. Like I wonder what engine this was built on. Does anybody know? Oh, and we can just climb back in. That's cool. But I'm ready for some action here. Like, I guess we might as well, we could have, it's all the way up there, so we'll forget that chest for now, but. See, that's pretty cool how she walks through the tall grass and she like moves it out of her face. What's this, a gobbler? Here we go, come here. Oh, no, I'm dead tired. Can't see anybody in the bush here. Okay, let's get back to the cart. Come on. We had our little adventure. They're just gonna draw these guys to the cart. Whoops. And there's guys fighting up. Yeah. Okay. That was well goblins. Rotten luck. We need your aid again, sir. Well, we want to fight goblins. We want to have somebody fight us. 
Dear me. Whoa! We have no means of exploiting our enemy. These are the burly ones. Look at that, how he blocks it. I'll just jump behind you. Look at that. Oh, but I, it doesn't like to speed me over those rocks, really. It wants to do the jump animation, it wants to have some kind of interaction with the edge of that rock. Like if I try to go right up it? Yeah, well, well that one did that time. But it wouldn't let me when I was coming so off of it. Them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Burnworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All yeah. Right. Into the ox cart then. So we're gonna re. <laughs> so that must be like a checkpoint. Hail. So do I have to sit down? Well, I don't want to be the only one riding in the ox cart. Nobody else is riding in the ox cart. Oh, okay, cool. Vernmond. Vernworth, excuse me. Capital of Vermont. Vernworth, capital of Vermont. We gotta say that a couple of times to get that down. Yeah, it looks very similar to Grand Soren. High grass, there was a little patch of farmland right in the middle of Grand Soren there where you ended up fighting a cockatrice and stuff like that. Here's the guy from the beginning. Very good detail on the face. I like it. Very good. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Captain Brandt. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. I don't understand that. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. Oh, well, this guy's not our friend. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I don't think we're strong enough to flee anyways, guys. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. One on one. Okay. Let's see if we can pass I this. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, your majesty. If the queen regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. Oh, whoa. What's going on? I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. I see. Look at this, guys. Oh, the intrigue, the Game of Thrones depth to it. Should I go enough of this farce? I don't understand. I don't understand then because I don't. you have lost your memory? In that case, may I, I ought to explain the situation before we proceed? You and no other are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv. Whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. So that was reality. That did really happen. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Oh. This is going to be a mysterious hooded figure. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when t'was all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. I see. Very understandable. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. So you say? Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, 
She prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead. A me However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Disa plays her games. Oh man, so he's actually like our best friend. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. Okay, so we want to advance this main quest, we'll go there to the tavern. But for right now, let's explore this area, or we'll see what happens here. This one's cleared of all suspicion, and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Got the VIP pass. 6,000 gold, 500 experience. In the dragon's wake. Completed. Wow, that was huge. Seed of the Sovereign is the next priority quest. What's this? Very obvious looking thing. Regarding the oath, both Vermund and Batal regard the scourge of the dragon as a matter of the utmost priority. Should the baleful creature alight on either side of the border, both nations are sworn to provide aid, as well as to assist in the evacuation of the populace and with scouting missions as needed. In such an event, all troops are expected to put aside any disagreement of faith or culture and devote themselves wholeheartedly to their duty. Ooh, that's a lot to ask of people, especially if they've been fighting each other for a long time. So, okay, the story at this point, let's recap. We were the sovereign of this land, the ruler. Then we went to fight the dragon, defeated him, became the Arisen through that, or fought him and became the Arisen. I don't know if we defeated him. <clears throat> and that threatened the current rulers of this country. So we weren't really the ruler, I guess. We were just something special, a champion or something like that. And it threatened the current rulership because the Arisen is supposed to be the real ruler of the land. So once we were anointed Arisen after fighting the dragon, we became a threat to her and her family. So she captured us, cursed us, sold us to the other country, Batal, where we woke up without any memory, and we started our journey here. Now, okay. That all makes sense. I like it too. Speak with Captain Brant in the tavern at night. All right, cool. Utilizing the day-night aspect, we have to go there at night. Doesn't look like there's anything in this room. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> oh yeah. Concern it! Get back here! Uh, I was gonna say pickpocket. He's over here. Uh oh. Hey, that, did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Hmm. Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. Just in case we need somebody to show us a secret way around. Man, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Uh -oh. Farewell. Are we going to be in trouble now? You helped the young man elude his pursuer. Cool. Little side quest just like that. Yeah, so I'm really hoping that by making that decision, I didn't screw myself over and do something terrible. And I really hope that that kid comes back to help me at a certain point. Maybe if I get locked up in jail, he'll come let me out, or maybe he'll show me a secret way through something. I'm unsure how best Copper ore? Gosh darn it. I'll go and open the chest. Yeah. You do that. So let's make our way to the inn. I don't see it on the mini-map. Is that it over there? I don't think so. Let's look on the real map here. There... there's... There it is. I even forget what that first waypoint I put down is, but I'm gonna leave it there. I can't run in town. Oh, I'm heavy, that's why. After you were risen. So we'll just give some stuff to some of our other guys here so we're not <laughs> walking. Yeah, encumbrance is huge in this. And it's not very easy to deal with. Because you have so little weight you can carry, you gotta really pay attention to it. 
original Dragon's Dogma, it was a thing, but it wasn't like that big of a deal most of the time. It was usually when I tried to carry like 50 green wars and 50 mushrooms at the same time. Mushrooms were for stamina in the original game. Um, sorry, I'm doing this the hard way, guys. There we go. At least I'm just very heavy. Oh, tis you. You're the good sir who aided me. Oh, hey, now. there we go. Thank you again, sir. You don't know how grateful I am to you. You're cute girl. What else is there to say? Oi, sir. We've started selling that medicine you gave me at our shop. Why don't you come see? Mm-hmm. I bet we see ourselves getting a discount there too. So that's really cool. Really neat touch. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Oh shoot, you know. Which one? Okay, there it is, up there, I guess. In one of those rooms or something? We'll, well figure that out. Her. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other. For all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Probably yeah, what did I say? Make good use of it, won't you? Okay, so let's see what kind of discount he's talking about. We do have some cash to spend. Welcome and well met. Don't think I've forgotten your discount now. I'll knock a few gold pieces off for you by. So spend away, my good sir. Hmm. Ornate box, an intricate curio sold by a merchant who deals in such trinkets. Something small can be stored within the com internal compartment. Well, we're definitely going to get that because it's so intriguing. Salubrious drought, detoxifying decoction, fruit roborant, fine fruit roborant. Sounds like one of the best healing items in the game. Immense amount of health, I guess. We don't need that, so we're not going to use it, but we'll take the box. The safer the roads, the heavier my pockets. <laughs> okay, well. Always a pleasure. Thank you for that. So those are discounted prices too? Damn, that seemed expensive. Uh, we've got the medieval loot plan or whatever that is. That's actually a fiddle or a violin or something, but... To the chest. I shall take a look inside. <clears throat> so this is where we'll meet Brant later on tonight. Oh, look at this girl. Your Majesty, your time in tis not a matter uh, for prying ears. Pray. I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to talk to her. Welcome to the Star Drop In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Oof. I mean, buy around, but I don't know. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the finest brews in all of Vernworth. Come back anytime. What's with her always sitting there looking like she's like, I can't believe you. She just looks so disappointed in me. Okay. Okay, so it is nighttime now. So past the time, that's how we'll change that. It's a little bit different here than it was at that first end. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? No, I want to switch back today and I actually want to gear up because now that we have access to our um, chest, we should have all of our goods inside there. Looks like it's in here. No? This is what leads to the outside. Where's my storage chest at? Oh, it's not like that in this one. We actually talked to her. Welcome to the Star Drop. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Wonderful. Sure. 2,000 gold, that's a lot. Wow. <laughs> that one cup better better do, do a lot. 
Okay. Uh huh. This. Welcome to the Star Drop In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to sit back, relax, and enjoy the finest brews in all of the. So, really, we drink a beer that's really expensive. I'm attentive and loyal, and prefer to rem And we can change the time of day here. That's about it. Hmm. So, which one of these do I go to to get my items out of storage? I wonder then. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Whoa! Knock the milk over. So we change the time of day by sitting there too. Hello, you. Oh, look at this! It's just meant for parkouring around. So in the last game, you could climb on top of the statue in the middle of town and get some coins. Oh, it's Seeker's token, guys. Nice. That's seven. The thrill of discovery never gets. All right, that gets me all excited. I shall have That's such a cool statue. Place. Such a cool statue. Get up there. There's no gold up there. There is a seeker's token. So here's the pawn guild, the riftstone. Let's go in here. Vernworth pawn guild. Wow, look at that riftstone. Holy cow. What's your name? Go on, have a look. Neomis. Incense. Powdered rift crystal burnt as incense, only usable as a main pawn camp. Its refreshing scent changes the pawn's voice and inclination to calm. Art of metamorphosis. Can be used when visiting a barbary. Okay, these are all like... Oh, is that the monocle? Man, I had a video in the original Dragon's Dogma, guys, about how to get 300,000 gold by selling a monocle. That's funny. So these are just aesthetic items. Gold's made to be spent. Oh, yeah, well. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, you know, spending, not no spending any of my gold here. Today, I, see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Wish I knew your restraint arisen. My restraint? Yeah. My restraint is I want my DLC items. So there's a barber shop up here. Let's go look at that too. We're just gonna explore this whole town of Vernworth, capital of Vermont. I gotta say it like that so I remember. Whoa, hey Ox. That sounds so real. Sound quality, is, I'll say again, is excellent in this game. Oh, God, I gotta be careful. We took our first death by doing something silly like that. So the barber's in here? No, it's somebody's house. Better get the hell out of there. Barber's right up here. Oh, and it's strike two. Look at that. Hello. Welcome, good sir. My services lie in the styling of hair and the painting of faces. I don't know if we need to change anything, really, do we, guys? Should you so desire, I can help you find your truest self. Change multiple. Look how expensive that is. Would that I was kept half as busy as I once was. Hope to see you again. Do stop and have a look. I've wares of every ilk. Really? Well, either way. You're cool, but we're not changing any of our look right now pretty happy with it and we're just getting used to it i like her i like her look a lot perhaps new discoveries await us above that's the pawn guild yep what are you doing standing here what brings you here i don't know what brings you here well i do know what brought me here <laughs> now what is this over here this looks like some place that might sell sorceries of some sort Yep. Well, maybe I don't know. Diviner's salon. You know, you have lost sight of your path, but I can point the way. You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. I have seen your path. May these words guide you true. 
Seek audience with Brant, who shall grant thee a task. You okay, so that, that's cool. If you get lost, you can come here. Let's see if she says something different this time. May these words and she'll tell you what your next quest is. Yep, there you go. Cool. Gratitude. It looks like it's just related to the main quest at if this the point. Way forward is shrouded to you. I cannot is lovely to see you. So that's a nice, cheap little thing. The oracle. Oh, oracles. So there must be more of them, I guess. Now it looks like there's something over here. Looks kind of like a shield or an epitaph, maybe. Let's go look at it. I don't know if we can get it. It might be up there. Might be some kind of memorial. Um, so I can go this way here. Yeah, okay. I just had to make sure that my video wasn't covering the mini-map over there for you guys. Oh, look at that! I like how she does a front flip over all that. Like, she's just a badass. The Noble Quarter. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. <laughs> oh, that was really cool how she sidestepped that when she got bumped. Oh, it's a cemetery. Yeah, okay. This makes sense. We can't get through there. Uh oh. I'll get yes. For you. yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, come on, pick it up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nice, guys. Number eight. That's number eight. Okay, let's go down there and see what that is. Morgue and charnel houses. If a civilian dies, their body will be brought to a mortuary within a few days of their passing. Whether the corpse ends up in Batal's morgue or Vermund's charnel house depends on where it was found. The Risen can revive the dead using a wake zone, so as long as they have access to the corpse. So that must be if like an important NPC dies on a quest or something like that, or one that you need, you can't get to him again. You can go to one of these places and they'll be there for you to respawn. Otherwise, why would you want to find their it dead body? It is that the bodies of those who fall in vermin are first kept and tended to. Vermin. I beg you to conduct yourself with care and with a reverence befitting of one who walks among the dead. Pray keep your voice low. Oh. You are more than welcome to... Well, we probably will. Okay, so that's what that's all about. That's cool. Pray slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. No, hurry your ass. Let's go. To keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. The sun bloom. We see a lot of these sun blooms. I wonder what the main purpose of those are, because they're all over the place. Town center and state. Oh, really? What if I come and talk to you? Hello? I'll serve with redoubled vigor this day. I like your attitude. Greetings. Hello. Okay, nothing else to say. Cool. Oof. Something for me. A little bit laggy right there, huh? No, I don't have anything for you. Spoiled little brat. Ooh, bedroom. That's where the action happens. Oh. Find harp spud rope roborant. Hmm. A highly nutritious pellet. Consume it to recover an immense amount of stamina. Cool. So far as Oh my gosh, why'd you do that? Because we dashed, that's why. My bad. I thought there was an item there to pick up, so I tapped circle twice and dashed me. So I won't do it if you're staying still, but if you're walking. And hold it, then it will dash. Okay, so that's how that works. What's this way? 
The merchant quarter. This is where we started out here. Okay. So our ox cart. He's done good, boy. He's done good. Okay, we're gonna end this episode right here, and then we'll continue on with more Dragon's Dogma 2. Dark or er, <laughs> Dragon's Dogma 2. I almost said Dark Arisen because I played that for so long. We'll keep searching around here and see what else there is in town, then we'll continue and go meet Brant with the main quest. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next one. Later.